Get out the oil as well. Decided to do a little experiment. Just a little transformer. So I think it's a 12 volt with a double tap transformer out of a nasty generic clock radio. I've already, as you can see, I've already started rewinding it with um, heavier gauge copper wire. It's just a secondary coil out of a 24 volt 2 amp transformer, which it probably burnt out of. So I just kept the secondary to that one so I could use it for stuff like this. I'm going to run it as much as I can so all the gap in that bobbin in there is taken up completely. I want it as tightly as I can get it. See if I can get something else, um, a bit better voltage out of this transformer. I'm not sure how much turns equals a volt in these little transformers because this had thousands on there so I don't know, I'm just experimenting here so that took me an hour to an hour's work right there of winding and they got about probably six meters left on the ground. I'll stuff as much as that and wind it in as much as I can until I can't fit anymore we'll see how much voltage we get out of it. And normally this is probably a half an amp transformer or something to an amp. I need to think there's only one o'clock radio. Let's see how much voltage we get out of this. So yeah, just experimenting here. Okay, viewers, that's as much as I could want in there as possible. Not bad for a first time I'm working with transformers this small. Let's see how much voltage you get out of it. I'm guessing probably about 2 or 3 volts. Probably an amp max, but anyway. It's worth a try. There we go. Oops. Hang on, I'll get the tripod out. I'll do a good, good, good little test so you can see. Okay, we want to set the transformer down here. I'm going to burn this insulation off here so I can um, get some good connection. There's a coating on it that's insulating the wire. I'm going to find where my cigarette lighter is. There it is. Just burn um, that protective coating off like this. There you go. Wire brush, you just clean it. Alright, yeah. Let's give it a test. I'll get ready to pop it with a uh, voltage meter on. Very crudely hook it up here. Can't get much more crude than this. That should be a good connection. Now, voltage AC. Get ready to plug it in, it should work. Hopefully, I've got enough warnings on that. 1.2 volts AC. 0.12 amps. Yeah, this little trans, these types of transformers need a lot of warnings per volt. That's only 0.1 amp. There you go, that's only two hours worth of winding. I can't get a connection there. It's not burning out or anything. So it's working, 1.3 volts. Not getting hot either. It's working fine, so... That's probably, I don't know, I'd say about four or five meters worth of copper wire. That's only 1.3 volts. Can't beat microwave oven transformers. No, that's one turn per equals one volt, 1.3 volts on on microwave oven transformers. But also this, I don't even know how much turns that is, but that's at least figuring four or five meters of copper in there to equal one point something volts. Might power a clock or something like that. Good to run a clock. So let's see if I can get it. Enough, that's enough current to power this little speaker. Let's get the speaker out and see if it powers up. See if it has enough current to make the speaker hum. I doubt it. Not too bad. Yeah, that's something. Come on, um rectify that and make a little DC, small tiny DC power supply for that. Might come in useful. 
Now our viewers, that's my crude redneck three round chance for my DC power supply all complete. 1.1 volts rectified, four wave of four diodes. It's a certain way to assemble them. I should have realised this in the last video, but you gotta you gotta put them in a certain way to get them to um to, to get it to rectify. Yeah, you'll get it. Yeah, do it once or twice. So you gotta have the polarity facing that way. Other one goes in that way. And that's where the um positive is. And the other way you get the negative side you got facing that way and that way. So should I should sure draw a diagram to help you out, but yeah. Basically you should yeah, you have two facing face, two diodes facing away and away, and the other two have to face in and away. So you kind of get a pattern. On one side, both diodes face out. On the other side, they face into each other. And you put your active and neutral on these parts here. And you get positive and negative. But yeah, I stuffed it up the second time I did that. Um, with the, with the other diodes, so I'd rather copy off the first batch I did. And yeah, quickly realised that I stuffed it up. The diodes that are on here are actually pretty cool quality diodes. They're a spherical diode. That's the only one left, so... Haven't got any more like that. I'm gonna use all the big ones up. But yeah, these Fisher and Pock or VFDs use quite good quality parts. But yeah, especially those diodes come in useful, so I'm gonna keep that for parts. I've got a some fuses, surface mount fuses I'm gonna keep. And some heavy duty resistors. 0.125 ohms, 2 watt resistor, and a choke of some sort to filter out mains ripple. And I think they're capacitors, suppressor capacitors, so I'm going to keep all that. Pretty useful. So I'm going to test this out. It's, my, it's about the same voltage, nearly nearly the same voltage as a AA battery, so I might be able to run a calculator or a clock with it, so that's probably all it's going to be good for, but... Oh, it's better than nothing. So, yeah. Thanks for watching.